Hi, my name is uh, Sumit Joshi. I had marketing for uh, Philips Lighting. I also had uh, light sources business for Philips Lighting. Now I've been with Philips for the last three years. So my strongest value, actually I have a couple of them. The first one is I think in whatever you do in life, whether it's in work, whether it's outside, I think one needs to have good belief in one's own ability. I believe in myself. Uh, I always dream big. Uh, I think it helps me uh, to aspire to bigger things uh, in life. And I have strong belief uh, in myself to go and achieve those, whether it's personal or professional. The second belief I have um, is something which Mahatma Gandhi uh, once said, uh, that be the change you wish to see in the world. So I think blaming people around you, blaming the world, uh, that's not what uh, I would ever do. I think I would be the change which I want to see in the world. So that's the other strong belief uh, I have. Leadership to me is uh, all about people. I mean, one doesn't become a leader if there are no people who are wanting to follow the leader. So leadership to me is all about people. It's about trusting, empowering, and getting best out of your teams and your people. That's what leadership to me is. Leadership style for me is, there is no one leadership style which uh, one has. I think leadership style depends on a lot of things. I think it depends on the kind of people you are uh, leading. Sometimes I think leadership style needs to be customized to team members. Uh, you need to understand their real motivations to really motivate them to perform and realize their own potential. Leadership style is all also about the situation your business or your team is. You need to adapt your leadership style basis what is happening in and around you. So I really don't think there is one leadership style. As a true leader, you should be able to adapt your leadership style in different situations and with different people. I manage my team by really uh, trusting them, empowering them. I really feel I have some great bunch of uh, team members uh, working with me. I nudge them at times to get best out of them. I think as a leader, my responsibility is to realize, make them realize their own potential. Maybe it is sometimes surprising for them to see that they can do some amazing job. So I am very, very transparent in my communication. I think that is something which is important. And I think I will always support them. If the time is the definition, then I don't think I am the best example of uh, managing work-life balance from a time standpoint. But what I believe is one needs to be in a present moment in uh, doing your job. I think one has to be 100% there. So whatever time I spend with my family, with my friends, I am 100% with them. So I think for me, quality uh, is what matters much more than the quantity. Of course, you will have your own time when you're not able to uh, manage uh, both quality and quantity. And I think it's a constant struggle. So I fairly admit that it's not an easy thing to tackle, but I'm trying my bit. So my mantra has been give the quality time to your family, to your friends. And of course, when you are uh, in the moment, if you're staying in the moment, then I think you will be 100% present there. Yeah, so I think it's extremely important that uh, one spends time understanding uh, oneself. We, uh, I have seen that uh, a lot of people seldom do that. What is, uh, what is real Sumit? I think it's always important to understand. Uh, our motivations change as uh, the time changes. Now, one needs to spend time with oneself, introspecting on what we have done or what I have done in my past, what I'm doing right now, where I want to go. Turning point in my professional careers have been actually many. I think when I look at my career ever since I graduated from engineering school or after my management uh, school, I have taken a lot of challenges. I have always got into the roles or in the jobs uh, which gave me a lot of challenges. So whether it was turning around the business, so when I was in a company like Whirlpool, uh, it was a complete turnaround uh, kind of a situation. I've also worked in various kind of industries, so whether it's uh, FMCG, whether it's OTC, whether it's consumer durables. Uh, also, when I decided to join Philips, I always uh, looked at this opportunity as something which I would learn more uh, than what I had uh, learned uh, in past in my earlier career. So in Philips, I was able to get to a B2B kind of understanding of business, which I had never done in my life. So I think what has helped uh, deliver and uh, helped me grow as a professional, I think uh, has been uh, wanting to take these challenges, whether it is in India or when uh, I was working uh, in China. That is what has helped me get me better as a professional. So according to me, uh, Arun Kumar is uh, one such leader who I have seen working, uh, whether he was uh, hand managing OEM business or now when he is managing trade uh, channel for uh, Philips Lighting. 
I think he is one leader who uh, is able to balance things out. He is always there to take the responsibility. He uh, he will not uh, shirk uh, from responsibility and start giving reasons for uh, various things. And I think the way he interacts with his team, uh, I have seen, uh, is pretty amazing. Uh, so for me, I think uh, Arun Kumar is a is a great leader, uh, great people leader.